Hi, this is Craig Calvert. Uh, several months back, I, I produced a, uh, a, a video that I put on my, my uh, channel that was a process that used mostly Adobe Photoshop to round the, the, uh, uh, the shape of stars that happen to be somewhat elongated. And it works okay, but it also uses Photoshop. And I know many of you who may be watching this don't have Photoshop, but use PixInsight. So I was thinking about how to possibly do the same thing to round these stars, these elongated stars, to do that strictly within PixInsight. And this is going to be a quick video, and it's, I think it's kind of amazing. Um, this is, let me get this over here. This is the data set that I'm going to be applying it to. This is, this is unprocessed, uh, at least from a post-processing standpoint, of M1. Um, and one of the first things I always do when I uh, process these images is I remove the stars with StarNet2, put them aside, and then I can add them back later. Um, and let me take a look at these stars. And you can see, there they are, uh, elongated sort of north-south direction. Um, not real pretty, and I don't like that. So what can I do about it? I bumped into something, a process that um, uh, I had never used, actually, but I was looking into it uh, for another reason, and that is called, uh, under script, Utilities uh, Advanced Star Mask. Now it's going to create a star mask of the star mask. Now this is actually an extract, starts with an extracted channel, which happens to be the, this uh, um, L, lightness uh, channel. And uh, it applies several procedures to get to this point. I'll even show you what it does. It, it applies a convolution, morphological transformation, uh, curves transformation and actually even multi-scale linear transform and that's your actual extracted channel. I'm going to get those back. Um, and what I noticed about this, not only was it quite bright, quite contrasting, but if you look at the shape of these, they're pretty round. Certainly relative to what I see here. Yeah, perfectly round, but we'll even, fix, we'll even work on that uh, also. I said, well, why can't I borrow what they've already done here uh, and apply it to this to get um, rounder stars? So what I did was, uh, first I extracted lightness from this. That's this right here. Um, okay, and, and you can see there's a significant difference in the two. I want to get this to look a little more like this, and then I'm going to use it and I'm going to substitute it for the lightness that's in that image. So let's look in a region here of, of stars um, that we can make a comparison with. And let's see, that is right here. So we're going to compare these. See that, that right there is that. Okay. What I want to do, what I need to do, obviously, this is they're, they're too big, they're too bright. So one of the things you can do to start with, this is just to, to, to change this mask that we just extracted uh, as a, using a script, is I'm going to reduce, probably considerably, using this RGB curve, um, the size of these. Uh, leave it like that for now. We're getting closer anyway. I'm going to apply convolution, and I'm going to, convolution is going to fuzz it up. It's also going to help round it a little bit, I think. Um, raise that up about three, a little over three, and let's see what it looks like. We're getting there, getting closer. Um, I still think maybe it's a little bit, they're a little too big. Okay, um, maybe I did a little too much. Undo. Okay, and the other thing is, you can also make these a little bit rounder. Remember, one of the things they did in their process 
to create this mask was um, morphological transformation. So I played around with that also. And uh, now that I've messed this up, um, one of the things that, that you can do is apply this to make them maybe even a little more rounder. And the, 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 the operator that I found works best for me, at least with morphological median, you don't want to apply too much to it um, in terms of the size. Uh, five or seven maybe, try seven. Make sure it's round. This is for circular uh, elements or structures. And apply and see if it gets even a little more round. Well, maybe. Um, let me undo. Let me go to try nine. Okay. And it's a little bit fuzzy. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I don't know. I won't do that. I'm going to leave it like that for now. In fact, I think they're still too big. So I'm going to go and go down a little. And add down a little more. Now watch. I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit. Add a little contrast. That's a little more contrasting there. Go up. Come down. Good enough. So, what I'm going to try to do is see what happens. I'm going to take this, uh, put these away for now, using LRGB combination. I actually already tried it with one. I put this down. I'm going to, this is lightness, remember? So I'm going to put it there. Okay, and I'm going to apply it to this clone. That's that region that we were just looking at. Watch this. Oh, they're rounder. Um, I find that quite amazing. Um, now, if you want to look at the original, compare it. Um, you can see and they're definitely rounder. Colored's about the same. Um, I don't know the size. They might be a little smaller. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, you can make them a little bigger. Again, pull out that Curves Transform and then leave it like that. See what happens. Okay. You know, that's, that's good enough. So, uh, that was pretty simple. I hope you could try it. I hope you it works for you. And I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you and take care.